Uh, so hi everyone. Today we will try to understand what is bag of words and what is bag of engram. Uh, so basically, these are the two methods that can be used for uh, representing a uh, categorical data from text data into numerical data uh, in terms of a numerical vector. So how is it performed? So uh, let's first of all discuss what is bag of words. So bag of words is pretty easy to understand. We can go with this uh, particular example where we have sentences. He is a good boy, but he is naughty. And that girl is a good basketball player. So we have two sentences. So first of all, we would be calculating the vocabulary for our problem set. So vocabulary means unique words present in the entire training data set. So uh, as you can see, we have uh, nine unique, uh, ten unique words present in the entire data set. Basket, uh, basketball, boy, but girl, good, he is naughty, clear that. So these are the these ten words form our uh, vocabulary for this problem set. Now the next step is. Uh, now the uh, numerical representation for this particular sentence uh, bag of words doesn't represent words at a level but it does represent sentences it is used to represent sentences in numerical format so what will happen is that uh, for each sentence that we wish to represent the size of the vector would be of the length of a vocabulary v so as we have 10 words the size of each vector representing this particular sentence and this particular sentence would be uh, 10 and then all the words present out of uh, out from the vocabulary we will be assigning them some unique indexes so basketball has been assigned zero a boy equals to one but equals to two in this particular array so what we are doing is that we take up a, a, a vector of size v uh, of length of v and eventually if any of these words are present in the particular sentence for which we are performing the the vector representation we will set up the value as one and if the frequency is more than one so we will be setting its count so for example let's understand the first representation he is a good boy but he is naughty so uh, the first index uh, the first the zeroth index is zero because basketball is not the word present in the first sentence basketball has assigned index zero boy is one so one has in this because we have the word boy in the particular string uh, but uh, is two but is also is equals to one so the index at uh, second for uh, third position is also one because but is also present similarly all the words uh, with, uh corresponding to indexes if they are present so they are some value has in place in it now eventually if the frequency is more than one so we are putting a frequency count of that word so for example uh, if you look at the word is so is represents this particular index uh the seventh index or uh, like uh, uh, the seventh index so you can see that the value here is two this is because the word is comes twice in this sentence similarly we have that girl is a good basketball player so you can see that uh, the vector representation the zero index we got a one because basketball is not present basketball has, been represented, uh, has to be represented at the index zero uh, now moving on to bag of n-grams so bag of n-grams is almost very similar to a uh, bag of words the subtle difference the difference is that uh, instead of uh, uh, like uh, giving uh, index values to a single words as we have a, a separate index value for he for is for uh, in bag of words we are forming n grams now n grams is group of words so uh, replace n by any number uh, we call it like uh, one uh, one gram two gram three gram four gram so one gram is bag of words only we are considering just one word when we call it two gram it means that we are considering two consecutive words that is he is is a, a good good boy boy but now here in this example we have considered n grams of the length uh, three so you can see that uh, we have uh, formed the uh, groups of three consecutive words boy but he boy but he but he is but he is and similarly we have formed uh, word groups of three words each now eventually each of this group has been assigned a unique index in the uh, 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 vector representation again the vocabulary would be formed by the total number of unique n grams that are present so your total number of unique three grams that are present so it is equals to again 10 as you can see the index goes from 0 to 9 and eventually the entire cycle again runs he whichever n gram is present in the particular sentence that particular index will be placed the value one else it would remain zero and if the frequency is more than one then we'll be uh, adding then we will be placing the frequency of that word so for example if you look at the first sentence he is a good boy but he is naughty you can see that 
boy but he boy but he is a part of this particular index uh, so the zeroth index has been put as one well, but he is but he is also a part of the first sentence so the uh, for so the second uh, second place in the vector presentation is also one well. and similarly for uh, the next example that girl is a good basketball 